world's great ski mountains all have unique natural attributes that separate them from their neighbors. These special attributes are often the reasons why lifts were built on their slopes instead of on the next mountain or range. There are dozens of reasons why Mammoth Mountain is the premier ski mountain in California and why Mammoth Mountain Ski Area sells more lift tickets than any other ski resort in the Western Hemisphere. The perennially deep snowpack caught Dave McCoy's eye and was a primary reason for his belief that this remote wilderness mountain would make a great ski area. Complementing the heavy snowfall is the perfect exposure and pitch of the steep north face. The blazing Southern California sun never really gets a good bite here until late spring. Mammoth's 11,000 foot altitude also keeps the snow cold and firm by holding the air temperature six to 10 degrees cooler than any other California ski area. There's one additional natural element, however, that makes the snow on Mammoth Mountain truly close to perfection at times, and we had it this last week. Many wise mountain folks warned Dave McCoy that he could never build a ski area here because the mountain was too barren and the winds were just too vicious. Indeed, Mammoth's wind is the one weather element that sends nearly all skiers diving into buttered rums and hot tubs. Paradoxically, it is this blasting wind that keeps the vast expanses of Mammoth Mountain covered with perfectly packed powder. If they can afford it, ski areas spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on grooming equipment in an attempt to create the perfect firm pack conditions that the windy Pacific storms blasting through Mammoth Pass create on Mammoth Mountain for free. Here on Lincoln Mountain, a sub-peak at the northeast corner of Mammoth Mountain, this excellent wind pack powder can usually be found on the steep north face, especially on Avalanche Chute 3. To ski the Ave Chutes, ride Chair 22 to the top of Mount Lincoln. As you enjoy the steep chair ride, you'll probably get a chance to see schools of flounders wallowing in the deep mogul maze below. Fortunately, we are heading for the smooth wind pack on the Avi Chutes. When you unload at the top of 22, ski under the mechanical snow fences that trap the wind-driven snow on top of Mount Lincoln. Turn right and ski past Mammoth Electric Cable TV's television antennas. Like nearly all the runs on Mount Lincoln, the Avi Chutes are recommended for experts only. Just getting onto these runs can be a humbling experience for the best of skiers. The entrance to Avalanche Chute number three is over the rocky northwest ridge of Mount Lincoln. The Mammoth Mountain Trail crew has constructed permanent snow fences in an attempt to make natural snow paths across this barren, windswept ridge. Even so, much of the year, you must take your skis off and walk a few yards to reach the perfect wind-packed snow beyond. Obviously, ski boots weren't designed for scrambling over rocks. So if you have a hard time walking up the stairs in the main lodge, perhaps you should stick to some of the more accessible runs. But much of the fun of skiing is the adventure, and often all it takes is a little adventure to find the best snow on the mountain.
Perhaps the best wind pack can be found off the summit of Mammoth Mountain. Here the snow falls deep and it usually takes a couple of days of buffeting by the westerlies to groom the fresh powder to perfection. Climax is the simplest run to get to out of the top gondola. Just ski along the top and drop over anywhere to enjoy one of the greatest ski runs in North America. of Mammoth Mountain's wind-packed slopes is Dave's run. After a short traverse across the top of the mountain, you find yourself in an environment safe only for expert skiers and television antennas. While the smooth, wind-packed snow provides one of the best edging surfaces possible, if you're not capable of holding that edge, you could be in for the ride of your life. So take a deep breath and make that first turn. Thank you. 